Close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch the breath all the way in, all the way out. Notice where you feel the breathing most prominently in the body and try to make it comfortable. Otherwise you may feel it in the chest, so center your attention at the chest. This chest rises and falls, and there's a sense of energy flowing through the chest. Does it feel good? Is the breath long enough, or is it too long? Deep enough, or too deep? You can experiment for a bit to see what kind of breathing feels best for you right now. You're learning how to take care of yourself. We have that phrase in the metta chant, may I look after myself with ease, may all beings look after themselves with ease. This is how you do it. You look after your body, look after your mind. And you need some skill in doing this, because the body and the mind have a tendency to get out of balance. They start leaning, and then you lean with them, and things topple over. What you've learned, got to learn how to do is when the mind is leaning in one direction, you try to lean in another direction. If it's leaning towards things that it doesn't like, well, you think, think about the good side of those things. If it decides that it really likes somebody and is getting infatuated with them, it'll turn around and look at the, the bad side. In other words, learn how to keep track of what's going on and have a sense of when you're getting out of balance. We start with the body. Use the breath to bring the body into balance. And we look at the mind. How is your mind getting out of balance? It can lean toward things it likes, it can lean toward things it's, it hates. It lean towards delusion, lean towards fear. And it can really get down on itself. That's sometimes the hardest thing to get out of, is you get a very negative attitude toward yourself, and then nothing works, nothing's going to help. You've got to learn how to pull out of that. Remind yourself, okay, you can get out of even bad mind states. And this is where it's useful to think of the mind as a committee. It's just that some bad members of the committee have taken over. But that doesn't mean that the whole mind is on their side. You can get other parts of the mind that are not. So learn how to keep track of your mind. Learn how to look after your mind with ease. Try to develop some skill so that we notice you're getting a little bit out of balance. You can bring it back in right away. Learn how to talk to yourself in a healthy way. Encouraging when you're feeling discouraged. Cautionary when you're getting a little bit sloppy. In other words, learn how to read when the mind is out of balance. Remember there are lots of skills. The way you talk to yourself, the images you hold in mind, even the way you breathe, can take you out of balance or bring you back into balance. And so learn how to read the situation in the mind to see what it needs, and then provide the antidote, provide the compensation. That way you can go in this, live in this world, and even though the rest of the world is out of balance, you don't have to be out of balance with them. The world can be all topsy-turvy, but you don't turn upside down with them as well. You keep your balance, you keep on an even keel. And the meditation provides a place where you can do that. You stay with the breath, you step out of your ordinary conversations inside the mind. And then you can see them from the outside, and it's a lot easier when you're outside of them to get a sense of when they're running off course, and you can bring them back in line. So use the breath as your safe place to stay, where you can watch everything else, both inside the body and inside the mind. Notice when you're picking up some bad influences from outside, and remind yourself you don't need that. Look for the good influences. Take those in. Learn lessons from people you've seen who know how to keep themselves in balance, who know how to look after themselves with ease. And then you can bring that wish to fruition, that you really can look after yourself with ease, with a sense of well-being. We live in this world that's often out of balance, but if you can maintain your own sense of balance, then wherever you go, you're safe.